I'm so good. I've had a day full of lessons and fun things. I'm so glad to have you on Zoom today. I would like to have a little interview with you, sir. Absolutely. Um, for folks that don't know you yet, this is Drew Bastian, who is our newest teacher at Queen City Music Studios. He's offering drum lessons, percussion, some family and kids classes. Um, and he's got some really fun things in store for us just to get to know you a little bit and uh, to get folks excited and answer some questions about drum lessons. Um, what would you say are three of the main benefits to learning to play drums? So um, I think one, the drums are in everything. Drums are in every kind of music. Um, they are, it's pop, it's rock, it's uh, classical, it's everything. You see them everywhere. So if you have music in your life, you're hearing percussion. It happens everywhere. So um, getting to learn that technique and where that's coming from and the, the different sounds you're hearing is invaluable in understanding music. Uh, two, um, especially with drum set, you get to learn interdependence, we call it. It's basically like, I can do something with this hand and this hand and this leg and this leg and that those different kind of connections that, yeah, exactly, this kind of thing um, that is useful for everyone. I, I think anyone could use that. Um, and three, if you're looking to get involved with music, um, there's no better entry point, I think, than percussion, especially drums. Um, my favorite ways growing up were playing in garage bands in my high school uh, with friends and, you know, getting to be the drummer in that group was huge, uh, especially since you can usually find guitarists, bassists, they'll have that taught, but drums are the way to go, the way to be a part of it. <laughs> rock and roll, awesome. Oh, always rock and roll. You What's that? Always rock and roll. Yes. Oh my gosh, I loved your concert so much. If anybody wants to go look at Drew's concert, it's on our YouTube channel, Queen City Music Studios. He is a rocker and a multi-instrumentalist. Little keyboard, little piano, or the same thing, guitar and drums. It was a really fun show. Um, I have another question. What advice would you give to someone who might be hesitant to start trying drum lessons? So, um... I get that it can be a little daunting, the interdependence like I was talking about um, and some of the uh, the noise aspects, right? It's a big loud instrument, um, especially right now we're quarantined and, and, and you know making all of that kind of noise. But nice part is percussion is not always loud, especially um, when you're starting to learn, starting to learn techniques. Um, it's very much so played on pads. You have a mouse pad at home, works great. Um, it, oh, yeah, a pair of sticks, yeah. It, it's a really fun little drummer trick that they won't tell you in the music store. Um, <laughs> Don't tell Joe I said that. <laughs> uh, and um, there's also uh, a lot to being able to play quietly. That's something we would study if, if we study together. Being able to play under and supporting is really your job. Um, so that's a huge part of percussion. Yeah. So don't be scared of the noise. Don't be scared of the rock. It's it's. Don't be afraid is what I would say. And have fun. Music's fun. So yeah. if you can it, approach it from that point. Have fun. And you're so fun. I'm so excited to get yeah. some folks started with you. Um, well, I have a question about when you got started in, in playing drums and music in general. You're a very musical person. It seems like you probably grew up this way. Yeah, um, I did. I, so I was lucky enough that my grandfather on my mom's side uh, was a percussionist. He was a drummer for the Ludwig Drum Company um, and then a professor of music at Mansfield University, in a small town in Pennsylvania. Um, so I started studying with him really early. Uh, and then I started getting involved in theater and I was acting and singing all through high school. Um, and then a friend of mine recommended I audition on drums for the Pennsylvania Governor's School for the Arts, um, which is more like a, a camp style thing than um, what they do here in Virginia. It was five week intensive. Um, and it was there that I started kind of really getting serious about drums and doing some, some big lessons with uh, people that really knew what they were doing. Um, and uh, I started working with um, a lot of theater composers in that point. Um, so I started writing drum parts for musical theater. Um, and uh, I met a guy named Michael Kuman who got me involved in that and started giving me some other connections, which that's what play drums, you make connections, you meet people and go. Um, and, <laughs> um, 
<laughs> and so, yeah, I, I ended up playing for one of his songs. Um, we had a really emotional night where actually my, um, in the middle of the first song I ever wrote a drum part for, my phone kept buzzing in my pocket, which as a performer is terrifying. Um, but as it turned out, I was getting called that my grandfather on my dad's side had actually passed away during the song. Sad, but I also like to think that he was listening. He was hearing that song. That was a big turning point for me going, okay, I need to be that going down this path. There's a lot here. Uh, and so that, that has evolved into, uh, I ended up moving to New York City. Um, sorry, I went to Penn State for uh, percussion music ed. Um, I was a, so I studied music ed and then was a teacher in New York City, teaching in a place called Kidville um, and also taught private lessons there. Uh, and, um, and basically like teaching by day and then playing by night. So I would go and play gigs. Um, and that included everything from, I've been lucky enough to play for national tours, for Broadway stars. I got to play with Bernadette Peters last spring. Um, and, uh, all the way to like punk bands that go out in a, you know, messy, gross van and you know, <laughs> doing, the, doing the whole, you know, rock and roll thing. So yeah. Um, I have a lot of different experiences that way, um, which have been awesome. I, I also ended up playing bass for some things and it's just been a long, it's been a journey that way. And, you know, now I'm here in Stanton. I love it here. Um, and uh, I want to meet the other musicians and I want to make more musicians. So let's yeah. do that. We're yeah. Make music makers. Yes. Music well, makers. until we can get back together in person, um, we're offering Zoom lessons. And Drew's got some really, really fun exercises and um, diddles and paradiddles and double paradiddle diddles. Um, <laughs> on, is that even a thing? That was, yeah, double paradiddle diddles. Yes, that works. As you'll learn if you watch the videos, rudiments are all what they sound like and what they're made up of. So it can really do whatever you want. That's the whole thing. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Drew, I can't wait to get some students um, under your belt and uh, connected with you on Zoom. So. Check us out on our Facebook page, email makemusicmakers at gmail.com to get some more info. And uh, I am so excited to be working with you, Drew. So thanks for your time today. Hey, thank you so much. And let's make music makers. Yeah. Rock and roll. roll. Thanks, Drew. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video from Queen City Music Studios in Stanton, Virginia. If you have any questions or are interested in lessons, please feel free to email us at makemusicmakers at gmail.com. Also, head on over to queencitymusicstudios.com to see all of the awesome classes that we are offering. Queen City Music Studios. Learn by ear. Play with heart. Hi, this is Drew with Queen City Music Studios in Stanton, Virginia, and that was really weird. Here we go.